everybody welcome back to the channel i'm on death's door still but i've got to do something today i can't sit around i've had enough of netflix as you know from that little update video i've had covid and i got covid on the actual hottest day of the year which was an absolute nightmare so it was 40 degrees outside and i was inside wrapped up in a quilt shivering because i was freezing cold so i've had the temperature bit the eyes hurting, the aches, the pains, the vomiting, um, the sore throat, which I've still got now. But I've got a little bit of energy left and I wanted to get a video up for you guys. So we're on a custom build day today, guys. Now it's something I've been itching to make for a while for the studio, to go in that side of the studio, because whenever I spray, most people, if they're like DIY sprayers, you'll do a bit of painting with your bigger guns, chuck a bit of cleaner in it, leave it in the pot and put your gun on the side. And it's sort of the worst thing you can do because you get dried up paint. So I want to make a, like, a little gun wash soaking machine so I can soak the spray guns. This will be a two part sort of system in this where you can have a clean jet spray as well. I'm going to link an airline up to it so I can blow through with air as well. But that'll be later on if I can get the standalone gun wash machine sort of made up. We've got a load of bits of tin, but I found a load of scraps. We've got some containers. So we're going to slice one, flip it on its side so we can soak the actual spray guns. And then we'll have an actual another one. We've got a pump sprayer. So we're going to put a gun wash, clean gun wash in one and we can spray through into the dirty one. We'll have like a little filter on it and things like that. So enjoy the video. I'll try and get this video completed today. See how I feel. <clears throat> Plenty of paracetamol. But as I say, I've got to be doing something. I've watched so much Netflix and so much Prime. It has done my head in. Probably while my eyes were hurting. Because all you can do is just sit there with the fan on you because it's so hot watching telly. And now my wife's got it as well. So I'm sort of like two, two to three days in front of her. So I'm sort of giggling because I've just gone into the lounge and she's there in the place where I was on the city, the TV's on, the fan's on her and she's got a phone and she's just stuck to the sofa. So she's now going through what I went through, but I'm sort of coming out the end of it now. So back on to the custom build. So I'll stick you in some time lapses, talk you through along the way as I usually do and we'll get this gun wash made. See you in a bit. We've caught a bit in that time lapse, so I'll pan you around and show you what we've done. So that's what we've made. Simple, nice and easy. I want it so it's slim line so I can slide it on the worktop. So you'd be facing the actual little gun wash this way. So a little bit of ply, chopped out. We're going to make a box next. Glue it together and we're going to air nail it. So it'll be an air nail box. We've kept the top part of the lid. I'm gonna have that as a little splash guard which will go on here. So you'll wash your guns in that piece. And then this piece here, you will have, you'll have this pump sprayer. So you can pump out of there and just squirt through your gun and clean the front of your gun. That'll be fresh gun wash. This one will be your soaking gun wash i've left it so we've got this here so we can slide this out and if i need to empty it i can just undo this and empty the dirty stuff out here i'm going to put a filter in the end of this cap this side so i can filter through reuse it the best i can so that's where we are nice simple box don't need brilliant tools um it's just a jigsaw nine mil piece of ply off cut piece of ply make a box but it'll look pretty cool when it's done. A few more bits to add on. So I'll stick you in another time lapse. We'll get this box nailed together and then we can move on to the next stages. See you in a bit. Right guys, there was a lot of 
time lapse that we missed but we have done it it's built and it's cool as it really is it's going to work uh, i've gave it a little test try with the w400 the deville bliss's work absolutely fine with it so give you a little pan round drop your comments tell me what you think this is basically like a gun soak machine so you can be spraying and after you've sprayed just empty the paint out in your gun disassemble your gun take your cap off your cup off and then you can soak it in this overnight and the next morning you can give it a little spray through with the cleaning side on it and clean your gun up so this is what it is We've done the, you've seen the casing, so I've sprayed this black. This is just 9mm ply. We've got a arm, I got given this, a friend gave me this bracket, so I've screwed the bracket to the bottom of the cabinet. We've got the soaking piece in here, where you put your pots, you can fill this up to a level with the cleaning fluid in there. You can empty, release your cleaning fluid if you want to flush this through and clean this out. You take the cap off here and flush it through. You've got your brushes that slide in here. You've got your jet spray for pumping through clean. That's clean gun wash that comes through there. This is all adjustable, so you adjust this up. I'll stick it on the tripod and give you a full demo. I'm going to put two brackets on the back for the spanners so you can take your gun apart. I've just put a bead in round here, and these are the old um, whiteboard drawing board clamps. They just clamp this to that, so it's all nice and tight. It doesn't go anywhere. So there it is, guys. I'll stick it on the tripod, show you how it works with the gun and how it all fits together. So you've done a bit of spraying. I've washed this out first. I've just put a little bit of cleaner in this with your paint. Just wash that through, tip that out. So you've got like a, a cleanish cup. You can take your cap off. You could drop that in there, leave that in. Take your cup off. And then you could soak your cup. That cup fits to the back. Your cup won't fully submerge, but it will fill up to where around the bottom of the paint is. Or you can lay the cup down. There is enough room to lay the cup down. Now on this arm, you would lift this arm up like that, move that across, get your gun in like that, and then you can lower your gun down to the desired level, and that will soak your gun overnight, and you can just leave that in the cleaner. And then the next morning, bring your gun up, take that off like that, move that to the side, and then you can jet through like that and just clean the rest of your gun through like that. So nice and easy. This will save me a lot of stress. You can just wipe your gun off and you could just leave that to the side to air dry if you wanted like that, not a problem. So there you go, that's my custom build for the day. The little mobile gun wash soap machine cheap to do it's cost me nothing to build this a bit of off-cut ply it probably cost you about a fiver from b and q say the bracket i got given that bracket but i can't see them being that dear i think these brackets are like for holding like a dremel with the arm because you've got like a little hook so they'd be nice and cheap on Amazon. I'll have a look, see if I can get any links, and I'll put some links in the description. These pump sprayers are for chemical-based um, liquids. My mum gave me this. This was for a garden patio cleaner. You get like a five-litre bottle, and you get like a pump sprayer like that. So I thought, oh, I'll take that off your hands. I'll use that. And then you've got your degreasing five-litre containers. Chop it down. We've got some uh, whiteboard clamps, drawing board clamps, which clamp that on. Glued together, few screws, bit of black paint, gun wash in there. You can put up to five litres in there and you probably get like two litres, two and a half litres in this to soak. So yeah, nice and cheap, does the job. Saves me stressing about painting in here 
having the gun in there and just having cleaner in the cup, there's nothing worse. Especially when you've got primers and things. At least with this, I can give them a soak overnight, leave them sitting, and you can lower this arm so you sink your gun to the cleaning level here so it soaks all the front end. Job done. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification. I'm gonna go and chill out because I'm absolutely knackered now. <clears throat> it's really done me this. I just wanted to get a custom build video, video up for you guys and I desperately needed something like this building. This wasn't planned. I didn't have any drawings. This was just totally off the top of my head today. A few scraps of timber you've seen in them time lapses and just make it guys and it works. So that's it. So if you want to copy this, not a problem. If it helps you out guys in any way, any DIYs, I think it works great. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.